On the first day of my work I cried sitting near the bridge where my father used to work. I had no idea how to work without having some memories of my father polishing shoes. In the monsoon season, my father carried me on his shoulder to take me to school. At my school during this rainy season we had to keep our books inside the plastic. Drops of rain continued to enter through the whole of the tin shade of the school but that could never stop us from reciting poetry. My father always told me that I had to become big. Seven days after his death, I became very big. We had nothing to eat in our home, my youngest brother was suffering from fever and my mother had no idea what to do. The box of polishes was heavier than me. My classmates were pointing at me while they were going to school. I was supposed to go to my class and learn the rest of the poetry. I became big, but I cried like a child. When the first customer gave me his shoes to polish, my hands were trembling and when he shouted at me calling me a bloody cobbler, I could not hold back my tears. He took away his shoes without paying me anything. Other hawkers were looking at me with sympathy. And I felt like running to my school, getting wet by the rain and memorizing the rest of the poetry. And then a man came to me. His appearance was dangerous looking, his voice was very harsh. He ordered me to polish his shoes like a mirror. I bit my lips to hold back my tears and tried to do my best and then he asked me to do it again. I did it again and he asked me to do it again. Then he showed me a line and asked me to do it again. I stopped crying and at the end the shoe was shining like a glass. He put a 100 rupee note in my pocket and said, use your time and energy to work, not to cry, tears will never bring anything. He left for the ferry. That day I earned 300 rupee it's been 3 years that I have been working, without wasting my time on crying. I am sending my two younger brothers to school. Last year, I married off my elder sister. And I have finished learning the poetry that I could not finish three years ago. I drank all my tears and I am only living for my dreams. Now when people call me cobbler, I do not cry anymore, I look at them and smile.